Okay, this is the Morse Industrial Super Dial Machine, and it was born on January 14th, 1958. You might not right away recognize the name Morse, but if I were to mention the name Toyota, if I were to mention the name Pulsar, Citizen Watch, if I were to mention the name Bulova, those are all Japanese brands like this Morse. And the specific significance of this machine is that it was actually made by the same founder that established the Toyota company for, for automobiles. Uh, Kikora Toyota is actually the gentleman that established the Morse sewing machine company and was instrumental in putting the same quality and engineering and durability that Toyotas are so well uh, known for. As a matter of fact, on the majority of Morse machines, on the bottom is stamped the name Toyota because it was made in some of the same factories that also produced the Toyota automobiles. So right away, when I say Toyota, if you're like me, you think of quality, durability, longevity. That same quality and engineering and longevity is built into this Morse. I have sewn on probably every machine you could name and this machine is sweet when it comes to the strength and just the overall running quality of this machine. Let's go ahead and start on the bottom right hand side and I'm going to very carefully tilt the machine forward because the, um, the setting for the feed dogs is kind of recessed a little bit so the camera can get a shot and you'll see that that particular dial uh, has three settings. It has normal, it has silk, and then it has embroidery. Normal is obviously going to be with the feed dogs fully engaged. Silk is going to be recessing them just a little bit for more gentle fabrics. And then embroidery, those feed dogs are going to be completely down so you can do freehand embroidery. Winding a bobbin is very, very easy on this machine. Uh, this is obviously the spool pin right here for winding a bobbin. You've got a single track right here that goes up to the tire winding, winding wheel. If you follow me up to here, you can see the tire winding wheel and where you would place the bobbin here. You simply push as it says to engage it to the hand wheel. And then as that bobbin fills, it's going to slowly but surely push that back up and disengage it. If you drop down a little bit right here, this is obviously our control center for stitch length. And it also, if you push this control all the way up, you're going to be able to sew in reverse. Now the stitch variation on this machine is the same as you would find on a vintage Singer. It's going to give you 6 to 30 stitches per inch. And uh, I was very impressed by the stitch quality, and I think you will be as well when you see the various stitch offs. And this is your control knob right here to set that stitch length. It has a setting of anything from 1 to 6 which again is going to give you a stitch length variation of six stitches per inch all the way down to 30. Let me show you an example of an applique that we did that I think illustrates the stitch variation of this machine beautifully and also illustrates what you can do with just a little bit of creativity when it comes to using a straight stitch sewing machine. And as you look at the outer band around the frame here you can see that we're probably pretty close to that six stitches per inch. But as you move to the outer edges and also to the center of it where you see these quilting uh, concentric circles and the quilt lines moving across the accent of this applique, we're really, really close to that 30 stitches per inch. But the final product is just a beautiful, beautiful representation of what a quality straight stitch machine can do in not just our hands but in anyone's hands. You can also create a project like this because of the quality of this machine. As with all of our machines we're also going to be including an original owner's manual. What that owner's manual is going to help you to do is it's going to help you to maximize this Morse Industrial it's also going to help you to maintain this machine. Again, when, when we get a machine, uh, first of all, our selection process is very, very particular. But we invest about six hours in every machine to make sure that from one end to the other, that we go through it and we make sure that it's fully ready 
to go to work when it gets, gets to your house. And once that routine maintenance, however, does come due, you'll be able to use that same manual that you'll see in the photos to be able to maintain this machine at that high optimal level. Again, you're looking at engineering here that is the same kind of engineering that is in a Toyota automobile. All of us know about the longevity and the quality of the engineering of a Toyota, very much like the bonuses that we're going to be including in this listing. Let me show you what choices you're going to have, and then we'll go back into the machine and finish looking at that as well. The first watch that you could pick as one of your bonuses, because we have a number of other bonuses included with this listing as well, is this gorgeous Bulova ladies watch. And it also has a diamond accent on the face of the watch as well. This watch is one of the watches that we're going to be offering and you have a choice of picking one of them as a bonus to go with your listing if you win uh, this particular listing. The second watch that we're going to be including uh, as a possible choice to pick is this beautiful Citizen. And I'm going to try to get the right angle for the camera because it has a really cool smoky black face and it's probably a bit challenging for the camera to get the right uh, shot, the right angle on it. Also, I think it's kind of neat, it has an accent at the top of the face similar to what you would see on a Movado type watch, but it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous Citizen uh, quartz watch. The third watch choice that you could select is a Pulsar. And this Pulsar is also uh, obviously a ladies watch, it's a quartz, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Why did we pick these three brands? Why did we pick a Bulova, a Citizen, or a Pulsar for you to make your choice of which of those three watches you want? Because like this Morse, and like the Toyota company that stood behind the manufacturing of this machine, all of these watches are also manufactured in Japan as well. So, you have a choice now of, if you win, which of those three watches you would like to pick as your special bonus to go with this listing. All right, let's go back to the machine. Follow me to the top, and you can see obviously we have uh, a spool pin up here uh, where the thread is, uh, is mounted. As I always say with the technology of needles, what traditionally was simply relegated to be a straight stitch machine and could not do dual needle sewing, with the, with the technology now of needles having over under type holes or oversized holes, that allow you to have two threads being fed simultaneously, there is an opportunity to do that with this machine as well. You probably would want to have an auxiliary type tree uh, behind the machine to feed that second thread, but it is an option. This machine is also extremely easy to thread. Follow me away from this particular spool as we go to the left. You've got this single thread guide down through the tension control, up to the arm, and then all the way down to the presser foot. Look at my finger. I have my finger almost completely under that presser foot. There is so much clearance under that presser foot. And you'll see that in the various sew-offs that we do, you can fit potentially a ton of quilting batting underneath there. And notice as well, I don't know if the camera can get a shot of the space between the, uh, the clearance between the bed of the machine and the top of the machine where you might want to be turning a rotating fabric it is huge, uh, as high as some of the long arm type machines that I've seen. So a wonderful, wonderful quilting machine, and really just overall a beautiful heavy duty machine as well. If you need to access the bobbin, it's also very easy. You simply pop this up, and then you have immediate access to get to the bobbin area if you want to change out thread, or if your thread is potentially running low. This machine, again, as you think about the name Morse, I want you to think of other names as well associated with Japanese engineering and technology. Think of Toyota, think of Bulova, think of Citizen, and also think of Pulsar. This machine is one of the finest that I've had the privilege to sew on. And make sure you check out the other videos that will show the heavy, heavy duty side of this Morse Industrial.